I'm Randy Vance in Boca Raton, Florida, and there is no better place than this to introduce Blackfin's new latest model, the 400cc. For decades, Blackfin has had a reputation for being a hardcore fishing boat. But for the last six years, engineers and designers have said, why can't it be luxurious and stylish as well? I wanna walk you through it right now, so come on aboard. Now the 12 foot beam gives you an enormous fighting cockpit and you can see they've appointed it well. You've got a rigging station right here, plenty of tackle storage beneath, and then two slide out coolers. Use one for cold drinks and one for frozen bait. Underneath the rigging station is a Kenyan grill for burgers in the afternoon and a freshwater sink for cleaning up. You've got more tackle rigging area back here and a 70 gallon live well. Check this out. Nice spot there for pitch baits. Now there's plenty of rod holders. You've got 14 in the hard top. You've got six in each gunnel and those are combo drink holders and rod holders. You've also got six transom rod holders. You're all set, but if you need a few more, there's a really cool luxury seat right here with rod holders in it as well. With the seat in place, you've got a comfortable ride out and you can keep your eyes on the trolling rigs as well. When it's time to get in the bait well, easy access is had right here. On the starboard side, you've got a transom door to a very large transom platform. Now here's a really nice touch. They've got a switch panel here that covers your raw water, your live wells, and your macerator pumps. Very handy, exactly where you need it. Now here on the port side, you've got the circuit breaker for your main shore power connection. Now on the starboard and port side, you've got 160 gallon fish boxes. Now there's a port side door with a dive ladder and that's going to be appreciated when you're getting ready to go to the bottom. And you have room for dive tanks in the center locker. It also gives you easy access to your fuel filters and your pumps. Steps here to the reinforced hardtop has your boat all ready for your upper station. There's even a 30 gallon live well at the bow. Lift up the seat cushion and you'll see the acrylic lid. You've also got raw and fresh water washdowns up here. Another important standard feature on the boat is the drum windlass. It's extra durable and extra quick for bottom fishing. Fenders and rope lockers are to the port and starboard side of it. Nowhere on board does the luxury and style show like it does here in the cabin. Down below, you have beautiful gray tones. You've got a china basin. You've got a gray leather berth that folds into a couch. You've got storage for a coffee maker. You've got a flat panel TV and a sound bar. Forward in the cabin, you've got a large head complete with a shower. Underneath the basin is a wine chiller. But also, you'll want to note that you've got complete access to all the mechanics on board through the head area, including the lithium batteries that run the air conditioning system. I love the lounge seat up here with the cup holders. You've also got removable cushions that makes it easy to clean. The fabric is called Ultra Fabric and it's got a great subtle feel to it. I like the different textures, the diamond weave and also the nice straight stitching and the ribbing. Throughout the Blackfin 400, you're only going to find the best hardware on board. The embossed cleats, the Gemlux rod holders, the stainless steel rails. Everything is top shelf, highly polished and built to last through the roughest water. Now the helm station is set up almost like an airplane cockpit. It's a glass cockpit with dual 24 inch Garmin displays. You've also got an array of instrumentation above along with your VHF radio and your stereo control. The center helm seat is electrically adjustable and both rows are heated. So if it's a cold morning, you're going to have a comfortable ride out. And if there's not enough seat adjustment for the shorter skippers, you've got a platform that folds down to give you better view over the bow. Air conditioning is standard on this boat and so is the 14 volt lithium battery system that charges with the engines. We ran the AC for two days and only brought the batteries down 40%, brought them back up in a couple of hours of idle time to 100. Now we're powered by quad 400 mercury outboards. You've got joystick steering and a bow thruster which makes docking so easy. What I really like about this boat is with the 475 gallon fuel capacity, you've got a range of 365 miles. 
What I like about the way the 400cc is packaged is that almost everything is standard, and that includes FLIR, radar, and the TACO outriggers. When you take a look at the way they've set up the cockpit for fishing, added luxury seating behind the helm and in front, and an elegant cabin down below, it's clear that Blackfin has figured out how to perfectly blend fishing comfort and style in the 400cc. I'm Randy Vance.